So I'm Jenny Evans. I'm a professor in the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Sciences. I'm also a faculty associate at EASY in EMS and I direct Penn State's Institute for Computational and Data Sciences. So I spend a lot of time looking at hurricanes in terms of computer models and all kinds of complex databases, but really to be motivated and understand what's going on, you have to look at what's happening in a hurricane and you have to think about new ways of interpreting the data that you have. What I want to show you today is um, just a video of Hurricane Ingrid coming ashore in North Australia and I'm just going to skip ahead a bit and uh, show you these are two young weather observers uh, doing something that is not recommended which is being outside as a hurricane is coming by um, but they got some fantastic video of this storm. So if you look at what's coming they're going to swim they're going to swing around and you're going to see a building break up and fly by. So there it goes. That's a building. That was a building. Now you'll see they're going to throw a, a, just a can into the wind to give you a sense of the wind. And there it goes. And if you can see it, it just disappeared. So this, <laughs> and there's a young meteorologist getting excited about a weather event. When you look at the aftermath, there's no leaves on the trees. One of the things they told me is, other than the chainsaws, it's so quiet. There are no birds, no animals around. So it's an amazing experience. So that's one way to hear and see a hurricane. Another way to think of hurricanes is to do a new interpretation of the data. So we're all used to looking at images of hurricanes, looking at satellite images, looking at weather maps, looking at all kinds of other information about them. But another way to think about data is to think about sound and interpreting the data through sound. So the visual here is tracks of all of the tropical cyclones around the globe that occurred in the year 2005. That's one year of, of hurricanes. And what we wanted to do, I did this work with Professor Mark Ballora, a professor of music technology at Penn State, was to interpret the data using sound instead of sight. And one of the reasons we wanted to do this is we thought if we can take data and interpret it in a different way, then people who are daunted by science or maybe worried about maths might find it easier to approach the data and give themselves a chance. Also, because it's just really interesting to look at data in a new way. So Mark's passion was sonification, which is not writing a soundtrack, but creating um, synthetic instruments that, are, that sound like the data you're trying to interpret. So you make an instrument out of nothing, and he would do that on a computer. And then you say, if in the data the number is seven, then the sound from my instrument is always the same whenever there's a seven. So it's not a soundtrack, it's the data transferred into sound. So that's really important difference. So to interpret the hurricane, we used four different things. We used the intensity, so that's simple, whether the storm is stronger or weaker. And so Mark created this instrument. You can hear the storm speeding up faster and faster and faster. And then you hear it slowing down. Then we need to think about the symmetry, how circular the storm is. And it's getting more and more circular and then it's getting less circular. And the reason that's important is in the tropics, a storm that's more circular, when it's really tight and circular, the storm is really intense. But as the storm moves out of the tropics, it doesn't have to be circular to be intense. So we signal that difference with this, with this particular sound. Now latitude, the sounds get deeper as you go away from the tropics. So you can think warm ocean temperatures are high numbers 
and cold ocean temperatures are lower numbers, so deeper sound. And finally, the longitude, we think of a storm moving from east to west and what you should hear with this one is the sound is stronger on one side and becomes stronger on the other side. So you, essentially you're hearing the storm move by. So what I'm going to show you here is taking all of those different instruments, the four instruments that Mark created, and looking at the year of 2005. I want you to listen to how loud and cacophonous it gets when there are so many storms and 2005 was an incredibly intense uh, active year. And also when there aren't any storms around the globe, we talk about a quiet period. You'll hear it, well you'll hear a lack of sound when there are no storms and, and that just really struck me. So you can see that the Atlantic hurricane season has, has begun the East Pacific is off on its way. Um, as you know, the hurricane season in the Atlantic was devastating in 2005. Texas was devastated. Hurricane Katrina is, is infamous for the death and destruction it caused. Um, but there were many other systems. And there were systems that affected Spain and Portugal. I mean, it was an amazing year. And if you look to the left, um, you can see all the storms forming in the northwest Pacific affecting Japan had a number of storms go all the way across the islands. And you can see if you look back in the Atlantic up to the northeast, up to the top, these storms going all the way up to Scandinavia. Uh, so the impact globally of hurricanes in 2005 was immense and you can hear the different sounds of the sonification. All of those chimes are a new storm starting and you can hear the wind. Now we're late in the year and this should be less active. but the sound is still occurring. You're still hearing those regular dings. You're still hearing the storms changing shape. That was a quiet period, all right? So this is another way of interpreting hurricane data and one that we thought was a real a really natural complement to the visual. So we've tied the visual and the audio together here. Um, and I just found it fascinating. You can see here what happened over that year. Um, you've heard it, you've seen it. So that's the year 2005 in sonification.